YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob and today yes we're having our we the people have spoken Trump coffee today. Well, something's caught my eye down there. It looks like somebody dumped some stuff down to dumpster. I don't know. It might be something else. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get started on the uh, generator today, and we've got a few things to address. Number one, let me show you what we got here. We got this junk laying around here. Boulder generator. And a friend of mine brought it to me and wanted me to fix it. Get it running again. So I don't know anything about it. This is a uh, Boulder generator premium or premier Overhead valve 30, 3,000 watt. You got 120 volts. And I guess you got the uh, breaker type too. Uh, so far, this thing's only got. hundred and four thousand or a hundred and four hours on it and then you got your AC breaker push to reset so the first thing we're going to do while we're right here is we're going to check the oil and I'm probably talking too loud for you guys oh that's not good got water in the oil oh that's nasty let me get that back in there we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to change the oil on this thing that looked nasty I've never seen oil look that bad look at that Alright, well first thing we're going to do, we're going to get this off, we got to get that straightened up and fixed and then we're going to go from there. Well, this here is probably the reason why it's got water in the oil, in the crankcase. This cover has been taken and broken off. Um, I don't know if I have one of these, but if I don't, he's going to have to get one if I can't fix this one. So, I could fix this one, but um, he's probably going to want this working to show him how much fuel's in it. Well, that thing don't even turn anyway. Well, it's not going to because the plunger has to come up in order for it to go. See, watch. Uh, and I think the inside of that tank looks nasty. Yeah, I got a good one now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the tank off. We already know we gotta completely redo this. Uh, we gotta start from scratch and do this right.
Well, that thing is totally full of water. I don't know if this, it, I hope this motor's okay, but look at that. That's just pure water right there. And inside of that thing's pretty rusty, pretty rusty. I hope he don't need to get a carburetor for this thing. Look at the inside of that. Wow, this is the worst motor I've seen yet. So that means now we're going to have to take the carburetor off. So we found out where, I think, let me see here. All right, this spring is sprung right there. You see that? That's not supposed to look like that. But it's supposed to slide up here. Hook to here. And then hook to that right there. It should still work okay just put that on there like that. But that's actually not supposed to be like that. That's supposed to be wound up as tight as that one right there. Like that. So, um, but that's how it's supposed to operate. Alright, so now I guess we're taking the uh, carburetor off too, so I don't see how that comes off. It actually looks like it should slide off there right now. But we'll figure out how this comes off and uh, we'll show you the carburetor once I've got it off. Alright, look here guys. We got the carburetor off of it, and that thing is just plumb full of water and rust. And here's what the carburetor looks like inside of it. That is the worst I've seen. So I'm not going to guarantee that he doesn't need a carburetor. Because once they get gummed up like that and rusty, it's hard to get them veins cleaned out of it. But we're going to try. So we're basically going and starting from scratch. Um, new filter, clean the carburetor, clean the motor out. Uh, I got to drain the oil out of it because it's plumb full of water and that's because somebody left it out in the rain with that cap with no top on it and it rained down in the it rained down in the uh, I got the sun in y'all's eyes uh, it rained down on that cap and all the water went in that uh, tank and somebody didn't turn the uh, tank off the valve and it wouldn't have mattered if they turned it off or on anyway because as soon as they turned it on to try to start it all the water would have went right down into the uh, motor anyway so this is why it's not a good idea to leave your equipment outside um, if you have to leave it outside find something to cover it up with uh, and if you see a problem, fix the problem. You know, at the time that it needs to be fixed. And now this is going to cost more than what I wanted to charge him. So now I'm going to have to call him and let him know that. Um, yeah, I was just going to charge him $75 to clean it and uh, uh, put it back together and start it. But I didn't know I had to do all this crankcase work. Um, I hope he hasn't ruined this motor. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I'm getting ready to pull the plug out of it and see what it looks like. So uh, my battery's going dead on my camera, so I'm just going to get everything tore apart and get everything ready and lay it out and show you guys what we got going on. Stay tuned.
All right, we're going to take this uh, plug out and see what comes out of this thing. I got a pan here direct to get the uh, stuff. Look at that. Water. Crystal clear water. That whole motor is full of water. Wow. He may have ruined this generator. Ain't that something? And he's got a flat tire. I gotta fix. Yeah, I do believe this is the worst motor I've seen. I may have to put some uh, gas in here, close it off, and just try to shake it, shake it about a little bit, and then empty it. You know, just old used gas will work. Uh, Once that drains, look, see now it's starting to get lumpy and slimy. Wow. Well, while that's draining, I'm going to go find my charger box and put on my camera because the battery's going dead on it. Right, so now we're going to blow through this and blow some of that stuff out of there. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this plug back in it, just finger, finger tight. Alright, and then we're going to put us a little bit of gas down inside that.
All right, so now we've got a pan here. We brought the uh, carburetor in the shop, and uh, we're going to see about cleaning this carburetor. I'm not going to hold my breath because it looks like it's been rusty, and once a carburetor gets rusty inside of them. You got little veins that goes through there that moves gas to your jets and stuff like that. And look, there's even a leaf inside that. Now, how in the world did a leaf get in there? But we got a leaf in there. We got a bunch of trash that needs to be cleaned out. And this doesn't come apart any further than that. So, yeah, I don't think this part comes off. So we're going to have to blow all that stuff out of there after we take gas. We'll try to take a pair of pliers or something and see if we can't pull that piece out of there. We're going to try our wire cutters. Yeah, there we go. So now all we just got to do is uh, take some gas and run through there. And the filter don't look bad. So we're good with that, and we got to clean the inside of that, and we got to find a wing nut for that, and I'm probably going to have to make a gasket, because this one here, you, you know, they never come off once they're squished. So, yeah, that's in bad shape. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this uh, bottom off. Look at that. I just hope that it didn't have water in it when Look at that. Look at the inside of that. Wow. Then you just take your pen out after you drop your stuff off of it. <clears throat> take your pen out for your float. Lay it in a place where you don't lose it. And then you just lift straight up. And you should have a float or a uh, needle valve that's in there. You don't want to lose your needle valve. And that needle valve looks like it might be okay. So hopefully we can clean this up. Now if this thing had water in it when it was cold, it's a good possibility this thing might have busted. But we're going to find out. We hope it didn't. But if it did, he's going to need a new float. Then we gotta clean all this trash out of there. So we'll get some gas in this pan. We're gonna put some gas in here. And I'm about out. Now this is just old used gas that was taken out of something else that was old, but it's good enough for cleaning parts. And I need my brushes cleaned anyway, so basically I use when I'm cleaning parts to clean out some of my brushes. Because they get in pretty bad shape, see there? how dirty them brushes are so this gives me a chance to uh, clean my brushes too alright what do we want to start with let's start with this nasty thing
I'm just going to go ahead and put these parts back on the uh, thing and we'll get it ready to start uh, putting it back together. And I'm probably going to go ahead and put it together because everybody's seen how it come apart. And uh, I guess the uh, next thing would be once I've got it together, we'll uh, go ahead and start it up if it will start. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, I've got the uh, carburetor and everything hooked back up to it. And I kind of wish I'd have checked this before I started, but um, I didn't get, I'm not getting no compression. So, I would imagine this motor, he needs a new motor. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, let's see if I can get my wire unhooked here. So I put my finger over the plug hole. And I'm trying to get you all in a good location here where you can see what's going on. Uh, I'm just putting my finger on the uh, plug hole. And I've got it sealed. Nothing. Nothing. So he's going to need a motor. So basically... We've done this job for nothing. So, I'm going to have to text him and let him know he's going to have to buy a new motor for this thing. He ain't going to do that. Um, and I don't have one for that. Anyway, I guess that ends this part of the uh, generator fail. <laughs> That's the best way you can put it. But that's basically what it is. It's a fail. So uh, I took the flywheel and cleaned the outside of it with a wire angle grinder and a uh, and cleaned the uh, coil and put everything back together and. I did a pretty good job cleaning that carburetor out. It cleaned out pretty decent. Um, cleaned the plug up, gapped it, and took a piece of emery cloth to it. And don't have any compression. Engine won't run without compression. So he's probably wiped the cylinder wall. So, I guess I get to tell them the bad news. Don't you guys forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this fail. <laughs> so, um, you guys have a good one. Later.